Hey guys, it's me. Sorry, I have the laptop propped up on a bunch of pillows on my bed in my new apartment because I live under a rock. Just kidding. I moved um, and I have not really had the time or energy or subject matter to make videos about. Uh, you should also feel special because I unplugged my air conditioner just to make this video for you because it is not exactly chilly in Maine right now. Um, so, yes. Anyways, um, I start college a week from today. Technically, uh, Thursday actually is the beginning of orientation, um, but my classes don't actually start until Monday. Um, but I did get some requests for this video from some friends, so I'm making kind of a version of it. Um, it's not really going to be an unboxing because I shipped all of my supplies for school to my parents' house, and I was there this past weekend, and when I got there, Mom grabbed the box and said, I want to see everything you got. Open them. I'm like, all right, fine. So it's not really an unboxing, but I will be showing you everything that I got for this, plus some stuff that I already had um, just because I need it for school. Um, but let's just get into that then. Uh, so the first thing I got, not really for school, um, but just because I know I'll use it, is a sketchbook. It's Strathmore and it's customizable cover. So of course I drew a corgi. I'm trying to get it so the light's not blinding on it. The little corgi and the letters kind of glitter as well. Um, and I put, you know, my College of Art 2019-2020 freshman. Because, yeah, I am a freshman. Um, so there's that. The only thing I've drawn on it is the organization for the cover and swatching Posca pens for the cover and gouache because my bright orange Posca decided to stop working when I started coloring the rest of his body. Fun, fun. So there's that. It barely fits in my backpack. Speaking of which, here's my backpack. I already covered the front in pins and buttons. Um, and of course I've got, you know, Halloween colored supplies, folders, a notebook, tracing paper. Of course my backpack's bright orange. Pencil case with also some very nicely bright colored supplies. And yes, the pens are actually those colors. I also have my two fountain pens from forever ago and a whole bunch of really bright highlighters because you know, you never know how many different colors of pens that you'll need in school. I have extra lead and a flash drive in here somewhere, but I don't remember what pocket. It's not that important. So there's that. I also have this toolbox, which I have decorated up with all of the stickers <coughs> that I could find. This one was actually drawn and printed by a Mecca graduate. She graduated last year and she makes tons of queen themed art. Her name is Megan McDonough. You should totally check her out on Instagram. Uh, she's so great. But this is one thing that I got for school. My boyfriend tried to convince me I didn't need it. I'm very glad I got it. It was like under $20 and it's pretty huge. Um, so I can fit everything in it that I need. Which includes... So they specifically told me to get four different kinds of erasers for one class, which is great because I use all the different kinds except for the pink ones. Um, I got most of my stuff from Dick Blick. This, the sketchbook, the Studler erasers, and some other stuff came from Artisan Craftsman Supply. Um, but ma majority came from Dick Blick because it just, you know, I shopped around and it was pretty much like the cheapest option out there. Um, also, if I reach toward my laptop, it's because my screen's going to go dark and I don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with that. Um, but I got a 12-pack of these for like $5 from Dick Blick when they're normally like a dollar. So that was a really good find. Um, so yeah, there's art gum erasers, white eraser, pink eraser. I have a needed eraser in the box. Uh, we need to get chamois, so I have two of those, but only one's in here for now. I have a bag in the corner with lots of backup supplies in it because that's just how, you know, how much of it I got because you don't, you know, you don't know that you're going to need four rolls of scotch tape, but you don't know that you're not going to need it. So, you know, um, and of course, you know, the, there was one, 
one class that specified a fine point black marker. But the options they give you were Sakura, Micron, and Sharpie. The regular Sharpie fine point is this one. This is technically fine point. This is ultra fine, now that I've drawn on myself, and about the size of the Micron pens. So I don't know which one they meant. So I got two of each because it's Sharpies and I'll always use them for something. Um, I also had to get a bamboo sketching pen. I hope it's the right size. I just got one. I think it was the medium size. They didn't really tell me. They were pretty vague. Um, I had these speedball handles. I might try to grab um, a different dip pen handle. There's some really pretty ones that I've seen at the stores around here. And I had these brushes, which is a good thing because I actually specifically needed this size of brush. And it came in an art snacks box a while ago. And then they said other sizes, small, medium, and larger. So I've got five brushes in my box. So hopefully that's enough. And then of course I have all my nibs. Uh, the one nib that I'm required to have for the class is bent. So that's fun. Um, I also got a ultra fine Posca pen, a white one for doing highlights. It was at four school. I just ordered it because Artisan Craftsman has free shipping over a certain amount. And to hit that amount, I had to add a bunch of stuff to my cart. This was one of the things, so that goes in my regular pencil case. I also had to get this very specific kind of glue stick. So I got four of them because I don't want to run out and have to try to find it again. So that's all that's in the top part. Also, this top part's really cool because you open it up and there's small, shallow compartments. They go to about here on my finger, get a couple of erasers stacked up and whatnot. They do fit a lot, but they are very small. Um, and then on the inside, I have an address sticker. And then there's a tray. You look that out, and there's the bigger bottom section. Um, but in the tray, I've got an X-Acto knife because that's the thing that we need. And I can guarantee you, this is going to be the year I cut myself open at school. Because I had to have an exacto knife and a utility knife. And I've actually cut myself open with these before. I have a scar to prove it. And I'm very clumsy. So this is going to be interesting. But I went to Home Depot with my, my dad and, you know, I said, oh, I'll get this $3 knife. He's like, no, get the $10 knife. This is better. You're going to have an easier time cutting with this. I'm like, all right, sure. And he's like, don't get the shitty blades. Get the $20 blades. I'm like, okay. Whatever, whatever works. You can have it when I'm done. Um, but yes, yeah, so I actually got the slightly more expensive exacto knife because one, it came with a cover, and two, it's it's got a, it's called the Gripster. So it's got like a, like a soft silicone covered handle, so you know you can have something to hold on to. Um, because for some reason, not all exacto knives come with a cover. Like what? Explain. I don't get it. Um, I also had to get a pack of 100 blades, which came in a lot bigger of a package originally, but I cut it down. And they are literally so tiny. They're sideways in here. So I'm going to get cut at some point. Um, so that's in my box. I also decided to toss in a sixth brush, but it was too long to fit in the top. So it's in the bottom. I also had to get this ridiculously ginormous bamboo brush, which I mean, next to my face, it's bigger than my head. So that's a thing. Um, and it was so hard to find one that wasn't like a $20 brush. Like, I don't understand. Um, I also had to get scissors, which I mean, I had scissors, but I want to designate the scissors. I had to get a ruler, which I already had a ruler, but again, I wanted a designated ruler. I wanted to get new stuff, okay? Don't judge me. Um, plus the ruler and the scissors that I have are also, you know, like from middle school or, you know, before that. So, yeah. Um, I also got a ridiculous amount of masking tape. I have three rolls because I need it for two classes and I'm sure I'll need it in other places. It's a thing. I had this jar of India ink. But I put it across the room somewhere 
it's over there. I also have a 32 ounce bottle of India ink. It's like this big and that big around. So, yeah, because I need it for two classes. And I do like working with India ink. Um, I'm actually, side note, I am subscribed to the Inktober email list. So I'm going to be getting my prompt list a week earlier than it's available to everybody. Uh, but the prompts are available on September 1st. And what I'm hoping to do is make one really big piece incorporating all of the prompts together. Instead of doing like individual drawings for every day, I want to do one really big one. And then maybe I'll do little ones for every day with that too, just so I can have something to post. Um, but I'm taking an inking class this fall. So I'm hoping maybe I can take some of the skills from that or maybe do some of the project during that class. Just, you know, kind of double whammy it. So I also needed rubber cement and I can tell you this stuff smells absolutely terrible and I've never had to deal with it before in my entire life and I'm not looking forward to it. So that's a thing. Like I said, scotch tape. Um, I also had to get a box of 100 clear push pins for hanging work for critiques. So that's going to be terrifying. Um, I got this ginormous kneadable eraser. This is so big, literally, like almost palm sized. It's great. I also had to get vine soft charcoal sticks. Yay, I hate charcoal. Uh, I also had to get charcoal pastels. And my inking class said to have a metal ruler 15 inches or longer. So really old ruler, literally so old. My name's on the back. It's from middle school. Um, and then the last thing in this box is I got four bulldog clips to attach stuff to my new drawing board, which I'll also show you once I get everything back in the box. So I had everything in the box perfectly yesterday, and now, of course, I took everything out. So bear with me a moment while I reassemble this. Um, and, of course, this tray that's in here is oh so finicky and will only lay flat a certain way, but I think I managed to get it. There we go. So that's everything that's in my toolbox. Also, a lot of the stickers are either from... Let's see, where are my stickers from? This is from Megan McDonough. I got this at Pride last year. I got this at Pride this year. Same with this one. This is from Cassandra Dunn. This is from Hot Topic. This is from Vans. These are from Cassandra Dunn. This is from a ColourPop thing. This is from Cassandra Dunn. This is from Pride. This is from Newberg Comics. This is from Arctic Fox. I donated to Bernie Sanders. And this is from Blackcraft. So stickers are from everywhere. And there's still plenty of room for me to add more. And that makes me happy. I love stickers. Um, the last few things that I got for school and have for school, um, I got a really big, really big, um, like cardboardy portfolio. It's just you know a portfolio. Um, they they said a twenty by twenty six portfolio and, and said it could be cardboard. However, I am me, and I didn't think I'd want to carry heavy crap in a flimsy little cardboard thing. So I also got another portfolio bag with a handle so that I can carry stuff. Um, in it I put my 18 by 24 newsprint pad that I've had for a while. I got it at AC Moore when I left at Bangor because it was on sale for like five dollars. Pretty much never touched it and now I just use it for this. Um, so there's that. And then the last thing that I have right now is this 23 by 26 drawing board. So, yeah, this is also ginormous. And I get to walk to school with this all the time. I think my intro to drawing class is across the street from my apartment, though. However, I get to run from the top floor of the building up the street to that one in 10 minutes. So, I think I'm going to have to take all of that to my class before with me. So, that's going to be fun. Um, I will also kind of show you my pencil case. This isn't for school, but this will be going to school with me. Um, it's got all kinds of pins on it, if it'll balance out. 
These three are from Troublesome Girl Studios. This one was for uh, finishing all 31 days of Inktober that I ordered. This is from Art Snacks, and this is from Quiet Tide Goods in Portland. It says All My Friends Are Plants. This is also uh, an Inktober pencil case from Art Snacks. I didn't order the Inktober collection either last year or this year, but this pencil case was $20. It's a lot for a pencil case. However, it is jam packable, literally. Um, so what I've got, I have my extra scissors. I've got my little watercolor confections set in here that I actually stole a couple pants from a Windsor and Newton Cotman set and poured a couple more colors into pans for myself. I got a Payne's Gray and like a peach. Um, I went to New Hampshire this past weekend, as I said before, so I decided to bring art supplies that I didn't touch. Um, and I've got a few different kinds of pencils. I've got all my cola erase pencils. These things are great for sketching. Uh, they make it really fun. They're actually water soluble, I found out. So you can like ink with a waterproof ink and then if you don't want them there, because they don't like to erase all the way, you can try and wash it away with like water. Um, I also, like I said, I like these erasers. So I have one of these, Mars Plastic, in my pencil case. Um, I also have a kneaded eraser, a small pencil sharpener, brush cleaner, and then I have a big pencil sharpener, another gum eraser, and then a ridiculous amount of pencils and pens, which I will not go through all of them with you because, yeah, that's a lot. But they're mostly Copic Multiliners, uh, Pigma Microns, and uh, Pitt Artist Pens with a couple Posca pens, some gel pens. There's some Blackwing pencils and mechanical pencil, water brush, all kinds of fun stuff. So... I think that's about it. Um, thanks for checking this out if you stuck around to the end. Um, I will be posting more on my Instagram, which is at Kia Pickering Art. I did change the username on that not that long ago. Um, if you were following me when I was Nikia the Artist, you should still be able to find me um, because I just changed my username. But I also made an account. Uh, separately that is Nikia the Artist, but it will redirect you to Kia Pickering Art. Uh, so go and give that a follow if you don't. Um, I will be posting more now that I'm going to be in school and making more art. Sorry again about the laptop. There's a camera I'm filming on my laptop. So sorry about the video being bouncy. Um, and sorry for my lack of makeup. I just didn't feel like trying this morning. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking out my video. Go check out my other accounts and my Etsy store. I also do commissions. There's information about that on my Instagram. And I would also just be happy to discuss them with you guys. Like if you want something done but, you know, can't afford a price that I put out for it, just message me. I'd be happy to negotiate and talk with you. I love making art and I love sharing it with people. And I know how expensive it can be, believe me. <laughs> um... But just reach out. Don't don't be afraid to talk to me. Um, but thanks for watching this video. And stay tuned for more work from me in the future on my Instagram. And potentially on here I might do like a winter break check-in with what I did in my first semester of classes. I'll probably try to do an Inktober video. Um, I don't know if I'll actually successfully be able to do one. My boyfriend kind of thinks it's weird that I film. I'm hoping to maybe someday get him on camera with me, but I doubt it. Um, but I will do my best to make an Inktober video, especially if I do the really big piece. But definitely follow my Instagram for updates. That's where I post the most stuff about my artwork. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!